I challenge ChatGPT and Gemini to recreate Subway Surfers to see if AI is really gonna take jobs. Let's get into it. All right, so I am a complete noob. So this will be a very fun watch. So the very first thing we'll do is set the timer to, you know, maybe about 16, yeah, I think 30 minutes will be just perfect. And we'll start now and load up ChatGPT. So again, remember, I am a complete noob. And first of all, I'll tell you to generate the prompt that we'll need. So something like this, to generate a prompt to code endless running game, like Subway Surfers, a web game in HTML. And let's see what ChatGPT cooks for us. A few moments later. Then using this prompt, I'll simply go ahead, copy it and paste it here and simply enter. And I'm actually curious to see how good this would be. So right now, it's currently thinking, and they say chat GPT 5.1 is actually very, very good. Like, of course, it's very, very good. So it is currently generating every single thing. I can't wait for it to be done. I have always wanted to be a game developer, but I have never wanted to actually create the code. What do you mean by that? I still don't get why it's blinking. I don't know if you guys can see it. So finally, it is done. I've got roughly about five minutes left and best thing is to give us the instructions on what we should do. So what I'll do, I'll simply copy this code, then I'll go ahead and open Visual Studio Code, pasting every single thing here. Hopefully there is no issue. And then I'll go and save the file as game test GPT, then simply save it. And now let us actually test it out. Boy, oh boy, this is actually very, very good. Let's take a look at the instructions. Survive as long as you can, switch lanes, jump to dodge obstacles, press A and this left, press D to go right, press W space. And so I think I'll actually need to save this down somewhere in case I forget. So just here, I've saved it down and you can see there's a score, there's coins here, then I can click on play, but it does not seem to be working no matter how many times I click on it, so I will go back to ChatGPT and tell it that the play button isn't working. I am clicking and the game doesn't start. So I've made our first error, but I will not lie, this actually looks very, very good. But for some reason, it's still not working. So apparently this is supposed to fix it, but it's telling me to go and manually find all these places. Please keep in mind that this is like a seven, 800 line code. And I'll just tell it to add the correction to the full HTML. And now it has started. A few moments later. So it is done. Hopefully it works this time around. I'll copy it, exit this, paste it again, then save it and I'll reopen the file. So we have this and it's still not working. So I guess what I'll do is that I'll open up the snipping tool, screenshot it and just tell it to remove this part and it should just start the game immediately. So yeah, I've uploaded the screenshot then. So it's telling me that it has removed that part and hopefully it actually works without any bug this time around. So it is done. So I can just copy it, head back to the JS code and hopefully it actually works this time around. And it has removed the screen, but I don't see any character. So I'll head back to chat GPT and I'll just tell it to just make a simple running game where a character can collect coins and die if he hits an obstacle. Let it be simple enough to run on a browser. So I'll just stick to something basic this time around. So it's done and just please, chat GPT, please just work. Just work. Okay, ah, nice. So it's like the, I see, this is actually very, it's like the, the Chrome game, but it's very, very hard. What? Because the blocks, it's actually very, very hard. Nah, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh. All right, so I think I will tell ChatGPT about the jumping line. It's basically impossible to jump over an obstacle. Make it to a big, easy jump and things get faster. Look at the obstacles as you keep going further. So it is done. We'll copy it, head back here, paste it up, save it, open the file again, and we have way more. Yeah, but it's still very hard. So let's see, let's see. Oh, I actually almost got it that time. Let's see. Ah, shit. 
I think I just made the hardest game in the world. Oh, please. Ah, fuck. So, so I think since we just have about 11 minutes left, I'll go back and see, make the obstacles smaller at the beginning and change the jump height to be normal. Just let it be easier for people to pass through the obstacles, but get harder as the score or as their score increases. So it is done. I'll just simply copy. And let's just pray it actually works this time around. So it is here. Let's see. It's the game! It sucks! Playing the shit! And it is still very, very hard. Okay. Ah, fuck. Can't really control how far it goes. Let's see. All right. So we do have about eight minutes left, so I can just tell it, let the obstacles be way further from each other at the start and get a reasonably or get reasonably shorter as the time or as the score goes above 200. So it should be done. Okay, it's still cooking, all right? So now it is done and hopefully, hopefully it actually works this time around. All right. All right, so it's a bit reasonable now. It's all right, like... All right, so finally, we've made the game easier. Well, we are jumping over the coins, okay? It's much better now. It's way, way much better. And I'll try to get the high score. Let's see. But the only thing is that unfortunately, if you want to get coins, you have to jump at the right time while also jumping over the obstacles. And if you want to leave the game, there is no pause button, but let's see. Let's see if I can get at least 10 coins. All right. Oh, fuck. The game is actually very, very hard. So we still have about 10 games or five minutes left. So I'll just make the game really flashy, but keep the core the same and add a pause button. So since we have five minutes left, let's just make it go crazy. And now it is done. Let's see how many minutes we have left. Literally only about two minutes. So I'll go over here, paste it. Now we have a lot more code. So let's just hope that it works. All right. So now it is very, very flashy and I love it. This is just awesome. So you guys should let me know if I should only publish this game on Steam, but it is still very, very hard. And the pause button actually works very, very well. The first Endless Runner game to actually have a pause button. Oof, this is actually really oof. So yeah, this is it for Charge PT. We are basically out of time. We are basically out of time now. But yeah, I think this was very, very good. So now for Gemini. I'll just simply head over to Gemini. So this is Gemini. We'll start it then head back here and we'll just tell it exactly what we do in charge PT to generate a prompt in order for this. So make sure you are using 2.5 pro submit this. So it is done and let's see. So it did say that I should provide three different blocks, but I actually do not want this. So I'll just say n1.html file. And apparently I've heard that Gemini is much better when it comes to coding than GPT 5.1, but we'll put that to the test a few moments later so it is done and it actually looks very smaller just 200 lines of code hopefully it does work okay i'll just leave it like this then i'll create a new file then save it as game.gemini and i'm already seeing lots of errors i think that's because i saved it as ts for some reason so i'll just put a new So I've saved it as this. Then I'll simply open up the game. So this is what we have here. I think this was what ChargePT was trying to do the first time. And it's actually very, very good. But there are no coins. So this is like a 2D version of Subway Surfers if you think about it. And we've still got enough time actually. This is very, very good. So what I'll simply do 
is I'll tell it to, first of all, make it really flashy, add a pause button and coins, as well as special perks that can be collected maybe to spell a word. So now, in Subway Surfers, you can collect letters to spell words. So like this. Something like this. And now Gemini is currently cooking. Now boy oh boy, this is what Gemini did. And you can actually preview it here, which is just awesome. This is actually very, very good. Oh, Gemini is actually way, way better than GPT-5 in my opinion. Let's see if I hit an obstacle. So that happens. Oh, I hit another obstacle. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, I see. So some coins disguise themselves as part of the fleet. So you just have to discover, know which one is which. That's what makes the game even harder. Very, very nice. Let's see if we can add more features. So what I'll just simply tell it to do is make the background to be neon and constantly changing colors as well as the coins. Then I'll also tell it to add, or to add A, or use, a character that is illusion to be front facing, like is 3D illusion. Then make the layers to be clear, as in the three layers. Give them colors and let's see how it does. So currently it's cooking. I'm actually excited to see what it will do, because I think Gemini just won. Like from what it provided, this is way better than whatever nonsense ChargeBT gave us with these like literally blocks. I think this one is way more like Subway Surfers. So it is done and let's see what it's cooking. Now this is very, very nice. All right, so now the lanes are way more visible. The lanes are way more visible. It's constantly changing. However, it is actually way harder now to tell where the obstacles are. But this is actually very, very top notch. I can't even lie. Let's see. Still, again, very, very good in my opinion. And we can make it more like, we can make it more with extra features since we do have enough time. So what we can do, head back to code. So I'll say use trains as obstacles and add a special gist two seconds in that allows them to double their score. And give or add keys they can use to recover if they die. So I'm really, really curious. I think Gemini is seriously, seriously way better than ChargeBT. There is nothing you can do to change my mind or opinion about that. So now it is done with way more features and I can head over here and something went wrong. So we'll just stay here. But all in all, I think Gemini seriously cooked on this one. So it's done and let us see. So now it has added trains. Now there's a gist. And let's see how the gist does not work. Let's see. Let's see. This is actually still very, still very, very good. So yeah, that is for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more AI tests. I think the winner of this one is obviously by a landslide. Gemini 2.5. Ow. Oh! And we still have eight minutes left and we can play around with this a whole lot more.